Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Jennifer Long from Be So Inspired, and this is my second fabric collection with Riley Blake Designs. This fabric collection is called Forest Friends Backcountry Adventure, and it has two fox families in it. It has woodland foxes and arctic foxes, and they come together. And if you love foxes, this fabric collection is for you. But even if you don't, there's something for everyone. There's knitted argyle prints and wonderful knitted prints. There's modern quilts. There's box kit quilts. There's baby quilts. There's panels. There's sleeping bags. There's something for everyone in this collection. There's even a machine embroidery pillow pattern. So come on in and join me and I can't wait to show you all the things. Hello, let's get started. First of all, if you'd like to know a little bit more about me, you can go back and watch the Be A Superhero fabric line and I do a little introduction on myself. So nice to meet you. <laughs> um, Forest Friends fabric collection, like I said, has two families in it and they come together. And um, there are a number of fabrics in this collection. And so we'll do a closer look at all of them. But this print here that's at the front, it's a big print. And then also you can see it here. Um, and this, this is the repeat at the bottom. I'll do a close up view of that. This is the main, um, the main print and it is actually the trail map for the foxes. So they can follow this trail map and it goes on and on forever in this repeat. And this is their backcountry adventure. There's also some great um, secondary prints. So this is a tossed tree print. And if you look closely, there's little tracks um, either in, in the ground here or in the snow. There's some little tracks and you can just find them coming out through the forest. And again, the tracks continue on. There's a wonderful argyle knitted print and some fur prints. So these are just great for piecing um, in quilts or using in your dolls. There's a wonderful starry night print and a really fun stripe print that has some scattered paws or snowflakes on them and then um, and a neat knitted print as well. Next, let's talk a little bit about some of the panels. So if you know me, you know that I um, am very passionate about doll making. I run a modern rag doll membership and um, it's just a huge part of who I am. And so of course this collection has some doll panels in it. So we have the fox family here, the woodland fox. It comes um, so one panel has uh, one large doll and then it's a 15 inch doll and one little child doll. And um, let me just grab a panel and show you here, but we'll just show you it comes with uh, one outfit so they can get dressed. So this is a little Argyle sweater vest and um, it closes at the back. So it'll just snap closed at the back. It slides onto them. Each um, of the foxes in there will have their own scarf. So a knitted scarf. It looks knitted, but it's just cotton. And they'll also have, um, for the child, they'll have a tiny little argyle knitted uh, quilt that the child can get wrapped in here. And a couple of other fun little things. A trail map. So here's their little trail map. And then the back, here's the map. So Forest Friends trail map. And so the panel will look like this. Um, so there are lots of opportunity for, um, lots of creative play within this uh, doll making panel. And um, there you go. So you can see it all and all of the spaces being used. So like all of my doll panels, when the fabric collection comes out, there will be a free downloadable instruction sheet that quilt shops can print or customers can just come directly to the site and print as well. And it will have step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble the panels like this, like into their dolls. So this looks, this is the one for the dolls. And so you can have this printed. You can do um, a sew along in your shop with it. This is great for teaching children to sew, um, great for pe bringing people into your shop. There'll be instructions for the sleeping bag up here. We'll talk about in a second. And also for the doll, um, the doll tent and doll sleeping bag and camping uh, gear. So, um, There'll be instructions that are free and that are downloadable for all of those. As well as for the dolls, we will be doing a sew along for the Forest Friends. So that will be a really fun four week sew along that will teach you how to cut the panels up, how to prepare the dolls, how to sew them, how to stuff all of them, how to add your own embellishments and just go through a lot of fun doll making tips within those. All right. In the second panel there that we showed, um, the sleeping bag panel, 
Um, so you can see up there the head of the fox is actually the pillow that the child will sleep in. Uh, the instructions will come, these instructions will come with um, different sizes that you can make for the sleeping bag. You'll just measure your child and use it the length. You keep the width the same, but you'll use the length for your child. And then there's the legs and the tail on there. And there's also some sleeping masks. So it comes in two sizes and in two colorways here. So um, the sleeping masks that you'll put an elastic on so that they can truly, truly be a fox sleepover. And that will also come in the two colorways, the Arctic and the Woodland Fox. The last panel um, that's part of this collection is a tent panel. And so it's just a wonderful tent. There are no, you can peek inside, there are no poles, it's completely safe. And it's just made with some great stabilizer and um, it's all in there. We will show you how to make them um, and give you the instructions on how to do that. So the foxes can live right inside of their tent and the tent has um, little foxes all coming up the windows and it's in a triangular shape and it looks like that. And it comes with a sleeping bag. Actually, it's a little cute doll hooded sleeping bag. So um, it has a little tiny hood so that they can sleep in there and they'll just um, lay inside the sleeping bag. And we talked about how to quilt it and close it there. The tent panel also comes with a little campfire here. So it's a little 3D campfire that you can make the little stones around it. And it comes with a couple of extra little s'mores pieces that you can um, also use for imaginative play. So we'll go through those a little bit closer, but that's some of the panels that are involved in the collection. And let's move on to some of the company quilt patterns. Okay, so let's start off with the sweater season. The sweater season quilt pattern is this quilt pattern right here. It is um, a wonderful quilt pattern that is going to be all traditionally pieced, easy to assemble. It's going to be assembled in rows. It's a row quilt, and we're going to actually be running a quilt along in January, starting January 18th for this quilt. So we'd like to support quilt shops that um, are getting this pattern or these fabrics or these uh, boxed kits because this is a boxed kit and we'll be supporting through a uh, quilt along starting in the middle of January on the Be So Inspired YouTube channel. It's a video quilt along and there'll also be blog posts every week. It's an eight week um, quilt along for this quilt. And there's cute little mitten blocks. This is a knit and pearl block um, row in here. There's scarves and toques and some cute sweaters. And this is um, wonderfully pieced because the print is what um, is making it look like it's all knitted together. So it's really, really a fun quilt. And it's like I mentioned, it is going to be a bigger quilt than this. It's 75 by 92. And I'll link to the post where we're going to be posting about the sweater season quilt along. So this is one way that we can support our uh, local quilt shops that are going to be carrying this quilt. It's a great quilt for the holiday seasons. Give it away for gifts and um, get one for yourself and one for a friend. And you can join along after the holiday seasons in January and sew it together. <laughs> So that is that quilt. This is a trail map quilt here, and you can make it in either colorway as well. And it is, again, a bigger quilt than this. It's 68 by 72, so it's a great lap size quilt. And it's meant to tell the story of the trail. So the fox start, the fox start out over here. It's traditionally pieced except for a little bit of raw edge applique, including you'll need a doll panel um, to raw edge some applique, some of the pieces on it. And it's, you know, camp height trail fox. And they start on the trail over here at the sign. And they come along the trail past the forest. Um, here are two of the fox family here. They come past, here's a trail map. And they come, keep going up another couple of trees, some starry night sky. There's the moon in the cabin. And they come through the forest and then up again. So it's a really fun, playful quilt. Um, it's called Trail Map. You can pre-order it right now through Rodley Blake. Um, this quilt over here is actually a crib size quilt. It's called Fox Cup Quilt and we're showing it in two different colorways as well. And it's just a wonderful crib size quilt, um, all traditionally pieced. And it's just anyone that loves foxes, um, that has a baby gifts coming up. It's just a wonderful, great quilt for um, having in your nursery. There's not shown here, but we will sh show a link to it. The backcountry quilt is a forest quilt, so it's full of trees. And one of the tree blocks is missing. And in that tree block, we'll see if you can find it, there is an applique 
box. So just kind of hidden, you can play around with where you want it in your own forest. And it's a really, really fun, um, fun quilt to make. So that this one is called Back Country. So there is one more quilt. It is called Tracking. And it is a modern take on a back country hiking sign um, where you can go north, east, south or west on the sign and there's some paw prints with some arrow blocks in there. It comes in two colorways as well. It's shown in two colorways and it's quite a striking quilt. The last pattern is a pillow pattern and it is this pattern right here. It is meant as an accompaniment to the sweater season quilt but it's a great standalone pillow as well. And this pillow is called Winter Clothesline because all of these elements, the sweater, the hat, the mittens, and the scarf are all hanging on the clothesline to dry in the winter. So the special thing about this pillow is that it comes into two versions. It comes in a regular sewing machine version, but it is also available in a machine embroidery version. So if you are a local quilt shop that has embroidery machines and you'd like to carry some embroidery machine patterns, this is a great one to start with. It's not an overwhelming project and it's a really fun and whimsical project. It also goes really great with the sweater season quilt and so it'll be a great accompaniment as well. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements of this collection. For joining me here today. My name is Jennifer Long from Be So Inspired and it means so much to me that you're here. Thank you from my heart and can't wait to see what you make with Forest Friends Backcountry Adventure. See you soon! Mm -hmm.